a like and welcome back to another PC Retro Let's Play of Wing Commander for the price of freedom. I'm Cousin Shomotos Gaming, and we are going to start pushing our way to Earth to confront somebody. Last time we found out that Tolwyn was a traitor, but he thinks he's probably doing what's best for the Confederation and Earth, but really I'm in actuality. He's just being evil. I always knew the guy was a dick. I think we don't really have anybody laying around, so. Alright, let's get to the mission then. Right on into it. I think that it's despicable behavior that you would even talk Civilian about. Civilian casualties like aren't nah, acceptable. People. No, they're not. That's enough. Now, this is going to be the hardest mission we've ever undertaken. We're going to escort the Intrepid to this jump point. That means trying to slip past the Ella Superbase. And if they come after us, and I can't think of a reason why they wouldn't, it's gonna take everything we've got to defeat them. Now our only other chance is to cause civilian casualties, and that's, well, it's unacceptable. And we can do this, people. Maybe we'll just stop a war in the process. All right, let's go. Let's go. He said it's going to be one of the hardest missions ever. I'm going to get one wingman. Where's Cat Scratch? Maybe he's in the, uh, what's it called? Maybe he's in the infirmary or something. I feel like I'm going to need some pretty, pretty nasty firepower. I got to I got, I got to take, I got to take Primate. He's got a, I mean, he's like the best pilot. All right, let's go. Defend the Intrepid as it makes its way through the Ellis system and past the Confederate Superbase. Sometimes. Lots of targets to practice on. Break formation and open fire. Maybe I'll just negotiate with them today. On second thought. Prepare to die. Prepare to die. Oh, you need to. I mean, that's just. 
job, Watson. Cap should take another cap ship. Break formation and open fire. Maybe I'll just negotiate with them today. On second thought. Enemy target destroyed. More music, I guess. Get it. We got more waiting for us. Lots of targets to practice on. I figured as much. Ooh, bear cats. Break formation and open fire. Maybe I'll just negotiate with them today. On second thought. Who's shooting you? Baby, let's do this. Enemy target destroyed. Get him. Oh.
Oh, baby. Enemy target destroyed. Dude, this guy. Out the music. Mission complete. Yes! You're cleared, sir, and hurry! We're going to the jump point in under a minute. Need clearance. You're cleared, sir, and hurry! We're going to the jump point in under a minute. Oh man, we like went right by the base. Like we're like, <laughs> it's like in Top Gun, Maverick flipping off the the one guy. Like we're just like we're flipping them off as we walk by. Just take an IV scan and we're game. Oh crap. Oh yeah, we are absolutely screwed. Go! Lots of bogey. Break formation and open fire. Moving in. Another for the maniac. Yes! Look at him burn! So it's Maniac Panther. Score one for the good guy. I wonder if they can ever die in the mission. I never even thought yes! about that. Look at him burn! Yes, you BS. There we go. More, in more inbound. Chalk up another for the maniac. Yes! Look at him burn! Dude, he needs counsel. Sir, the situation is really desperate here. We need your presence on board. You're clear to land. Look, our senses are detecting the presence of another ship. Mission complete. Yes! Ah. Look at him burn! First time I've ever landed in a actual Wing Commander game while the battle's going on. Usually you have to be clear. God damn it. They keep jumping between cinematic and mission. That's the turn of the oh, good God. Oh, what the? Is the twin to the Vesuvius. 
And even these things have a few soft spots. Now, I'm going to dump a whole lot of data on your comm officer, blueprints, IFF codes, the works. As you can see, certain areas of her flanks are somewhat vulnerable. Now, once these turnips are taken out, uh, we'll see if we can't even up the fight a little. Yes, we will, sir. Let's go. So we landed to get a briefing. He could have just told us that while we're out there. Really gonna raise my kill score here. Break formation and open fire. Moving in. Return to base. Aborting mission, Colonel. No! Damn it. Form on my wing immediately. You got it, Colonel. Break formation and open fire. Damn it. Moving in. Did I really just send my wing in? Dude, this ship's moving quick. So much going on. Okay. All right, let's go. Really gonna raise my kill score here. Break formation and open fire. These guys are history. Break formation and open okay, fire. Get it right. Moving in. Yes! Look at him burn! Break formation and open fire. Maybe I'll just negotiate with them today. On second thought. Score one for the good guy. Are we killing Cole in here? Dude, this ship makes way too much. Wait. Enemy just... target destroyed. Yes! Look at him burn! Yes! Look at him burn! Enemy target destroyed! These ships move fast. You border world or low life. Hit it with the torpedo. Is the question. Oh my god, this thing is so fast.
Can I get it? Target engaged and destroyed. Great, sir. Captain Eisen has ordered St. Helens and Intrepid through the jump point. Proud to say you're cleared to land. Oh. Okay. Score one for the good guys. No! Enemy target destroyed. Mission complete. Okay, well. I guess this rebellion is getting all sorts of crazy. I knew it. Seems like your best bet might be to fly inside the Vesuvius and uh, lay the pack down at its innards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a replacement for it. Yeah, firing on the inside should work. Mm, that's too risky. It's now or never. Let's do it. Well, that's what I gotta do. Murder up fires. Okay, come on, let's get this out of here. Glad I didn't use the flash pack before. Sir, we have an incoming transmission. Well, I have to hand it to you, Colonel. Your uh, tenacity has always impressed me. But don't think you can hide behind the shield of the St. Helens any longer. She's taken far too many hits. Never should have been jumping in the first place. <laughs> she wasn't really ready. You may be tenacious, but I'm the one who's invincible. You should know that by now. You won't prevent me from addressing the assembly as Space Marshal. surprise for Admiral Talwin and his ship. A little bell ringer called a flash pack, which I intend to deliver personally. Good luck, Colonel. I pray you can do it. All right, people, let's move. Give him hell, kid. Can't wait to hear about that flash pack. 
and open fire. Moving in. Break formation and open fire. Maybe I'll just negotiate with them today. On second thought. Check on that bastard. Mission complete. Enemy target destroyed. Sir, we're tracking a dropship that left the Vesuvius before it's Targeting. You're cleared for refueling and rearming. Well, we got some cleanup here. Enemy target destroyed. Check on that bastard. All right, well, let's get back in there and let's get home.
Time to finish what we started, Colonel. You're on the wrong side. Standing with humanity's past instead of its future. <laughs> Guess that makes sense, since you're nothing but a symbol of the past. Oh. Loud. Ooh. I can still see you. You know that, right? Can they see my cloak now? Let's see. Do they know I'm here? I mean, obviously they don't see me. Can I just slip by? Like, will it let me get far enough away from it? I mean, will it let me go? Maybe. Listen, I'd like to not kill everybody, okay? Yep, right there. Look at that. I did not even have to kill people. Oh my god, I'm going to Earth. Oh. The assembly is in session. Today we honor a man who has dedicated his life to the protection and defense of humanity. We congratulate him on his promotion to his new post. Space Marshal Paulwick. Esteemed Senators, um, thank you for bestowing this honor upon me and for allowing me to speak to you before you cast your momentous votes. Well, we can no longer ignore the obvious. The border worlds wage war against us and we do nothing but issue decrees. We can no longer turn a blind eye. Let me lay out for you some of the more egregious transgressions that have been committed against innocent Confederation civilians. Yes, a formal declaration of war is a very terrible thing. It should not be undertaken unless all options have been exhausted. And I'm afraid to report to you that that is the case. We did not fight the Kilrathi for decades just to have an infection hollow us out from the inside. If there is a cancer amongst us, we must cut it out now. I urge you to vote yes on this declaration. 
Thank you. Seize the moment. There is a cancer that needs to be cut out. Seize that man! But it's not on the frontiers of the galaxy, but right here before you! Well, come. This is the great hero of the Kilrathi War, who has betrayed the Confederation and now fights for the Union of Border Worlds. I fight as I always have, on the side of peace and honor. Please, Paladin, hear me out. If any man has earned the right to a hearing, it is Colonel Blair. Let him speak. What price freedom, Admiral? I come here to tell you the truth. The truth about what's really happening on the outer fringes of civilization. Please, Colonel. You insult me as well as everyone else here. Do you really believe that this chamber is that ignorant? Two can play that game. You're not sucking me in. Two can play that game. You're not sucking me in. Two can play that game. I'm saying this assembly has been duped by a charade. An elaborate charade perpetrated by you, sir, who requires their ignorance in order to carry out a personal agenda. The border worlds have fallen victim to a plot, which, if allowed to proceed, will make all of humanity a victim. Well, I suppose there is a strange logic in that. <laughs> well, um, please, continue, Colonel. Dance around him. Admiral, do you believe in the concepts of law and order? Of course, I've devoted my life to them. Haven't we all? And you believe these concepts to be the foundation of a strong society? Indeed. Without law and order, we are lost. Law and order. Control. Maintaining the status quo, that's what this is all about. Harmony among men is a secondary issue. Harmony is maintained through control. He'll trip himself up. Was it Harmony that made me, as a confed pilot, party to the theft of a Border Worlds laboratory and the outright abduction of a Border Worlds bioconvergence chemist? How you interpret operations, Colonel, is of no consequence. Your job as a soldier is to carry out orders without question. Without question. Have any of you questioned the Admiral about his Black Lance forces? Marshal! What are these Black Lance forces he's referring to? An elite force of men that I have assembled to protect our galactic interests. And these forces are stationed at a star base in the Axia system, isn't that right? Well, it is my duty to station forces where they may be needed. And the Black Lance have some extraordinary equipment at their disposal. Effective soldiers require effective tools. Like bioweapons? Would you qualify the Gen Select bioweapon as an effective tool, Admiral? Get him, boy. Get him. This assembly has never approved the development or use of a biotech weapon. As with any experimental device, I would, of course, have brought it to your attention as soon as it neared readiness. I think the people of Telamon know just how ready it is. 
The few that are left can speak of a weapon that selectively kills anyone whose physical or, or mental attributes don't measure up to someone's predetermined standards. Telemann's tragedy is still under investigation. But I have no doubt it'll prove to be the doing of the border world's thugs. Yes. The skies are just full of criminals, aren't they, Admiral? It appears so. And hundreds of thousands of innocent lives have been lost in pursuit of these phantoms. Do Tell them more. Attack Tarwin. Tell them more. Admiral, do you believe the strong always survive? With every fiber of my being. Is that why the head of the Black Lance forces is a product of the genetic enhancement program? That program was canceled years ago. Eugenics. More of a warrior than you will ever be, Colonel. He is... Excellence personified. He is... He is dead. He is symbolic of all that we will achieve in the future. What is the expense of these achievements, Admiral? The lives already lost to your Black Lance forces? The millions more who will die if this assembly votes for war? Space Marshal Talwin believes that our victory over the Kilrathi was a fluke. That we as a race need tinkering with, engineering. If a few billion die along the way, well, they weren't worthy anyway. Why can't we be more like the Kilrathi, addicted to conflict, the only meaning to life being found in death? Tell us all, Admiral, is that the price of freedom? Mankind was at his zenith when fighting the Kilrathi. Now our society is crumbling. We have no goals, no focus. We've grown complacent and confused. Who will protect us when the next race tries to dominate us? Who can tell where that threat will come from and when? No, we must be prepared. Progress only comes through struggle. Fighting keeps us fit. Conflict ensures our readiness and our survival. The Kilrathi understood this. They endured for millions of years, and so shall we if we continue fighting. If we continue to perfect our methods of killing... I think we've had enough. The assembly will now vote. This tribunal is now in session. Oh, God. That man has undermined everything. Justice! You saw the results? Marshal Tolwyn's appeal was denied today. 
Tolwyn is now slated for execution tomorrow. Oh, God. I did not realize that the... Oh my God, dude. I did not expect them to do that. So here you are, an instructor. Not a general or a senator. And you could have had everything. Everything means I keep flying. So if you ask me, I've got everything. I am real, Eddie. And at times, I wish I'd made the same choice myself. So how's that farm? <laughs> I'm not a farmer. I'm talking about rolling a farmer, not a fighter. Oh, yeah, sure, you know. You know training. Of I'm... all people, maniac taught me one thing. Well, hey, pal, uh, Senator, I... What, what? Well, you said either you're an earthworm or an eagle. I said that? <laughs> hey, Colonel! We got a fresh batch of newbies to shake down. They can wait a bit. I think I'll log some flying time. Senator of the Maniac. To, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Turn it down. Maybe there'll be post credit. Okay, Wing Commander for the price of freedom. I mean, uh, definitely way better than when it first started. Uh, when it first started, I was so thrown off. I'm like, wow, this is so incredibly boring. And and then like the whole Border Worlds turning thing happened, and I'm like, oh yeah, I remember that. Like it kind of jogged my memory a little bit. Um, yeah, I can see why people say that this is their favorite one. I still would say three is my favorite over this one, but definitely, but definitely good. I'm not gonna lie. Once you hit the border world stuff, it's it's very excellent. Um, Tolwyn, I, I mean, Tolwyn, uh, him being the bad guy and then him himself in his cell like holy shit that's dark I mean it tracks but I mean go I, I didn't I, I honestly couldn't remember if Tolwyn was around in, in Wing Commander Prophecy the next one um, but uh, I do this is this is the final installment as the main character as being Christopher Blair moving on into Wing Commander Prophecy they actually kind of have you follow a new, a uh, new young, young one. And if you're watching for the first time, I'm not going to spoil uh, who the. But it is a, it is the child of a legacy wing commander character. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, Blair. I mean, you know, Blair. Uh, obviously, addressing the assembly that was really cool. Um, helping the Kilrathi. Uh, even it was a good turn like you know last game we're like destroying their home world and then in this game we're helping them so that's always good um, yeah I would be I would be interested to play the opposite side of this I, I would be very interested in playing the uh, what's it called the, um, the I think the forever somebody I, I saw it online somebody labeled it the forever vigilant I think or Everlasting Allegiance or something like that storyline, like where you basically, when Ison tells you to turn, you don't. When you know they, 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 every time they try to get you to turn, you're like, no, I'm not. I'm staying loyal to Confed. I know it's much shorter, but it would be very interesting to play that version um, of the game. So, yeah, very, 
Oh god. Then those last couple missions, man, it was like boom, 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 boom. Like it, I've only been playing for an hour. Like an hour is all I've been playing. So I mean, those last couple missions, and I even failed a couple times that first one when I started. So. See, there was a little bit of a disappointment. Um, I mean, I know they do that in Link Commanders, where you have your, your dogfight moments, you know, where it's like, oh, you gotta face off against your the ace pilot. It's like, yeah, that, yeah. I kind of wish there would have been a little bit more of that. See, there was, in my opinion, see, there was kind of weak. He was evil looking, but he was just weak. Um, yeah, I don't know. But it was good. I mean, I, I did like the uh, uh, Blair taking over as captain for a while. Um, that was cool, but I really wish I would I, I know you were able to make a couple choices in that line, and I know that this is a 19, 1990, uh, 1995, I think. I think 97? Something like that. Um, but I really wish I would have, you know, you would have been able to make more choices. Because um, I know that it, you can choose three different missions, and I think you get to pick two of the three. I wish you would have just had the opportunity to make more uh, picks. Man. Nuts. That <laughs> ain't even got Confed Red Shirt. <laughs> they title them as Red Shirts. That's hilarious. Senator, one, two, three, four, shuttle pilot. So I mean, they did, they did, they did do a lot of. Um, they did. I mean, they they really went all in on this game. Oh, it is ninety five. Okay, same year as Mission Critical. Oh, are we gonna get post credits? Hold on. Turn it up. Just in case, if there's a post credit. They had one in three. Okay, well, uh, Wing Commander 4 wrapping up uh, right now. Um, very, very awesome uh, ending, I think. I think it was very high octane, very good. Very, I mean, Mark Hamill and, and uh, Malcolm McDowell just knocked it out of the park in that last scene. Um, I, I feel like Talwin getting tripped up a bit works and didn't work. Um, but. Yeah, I mean, this is this is essentially the end of the Blair arc, like as, as playing as Blair. So it's it's a little bittersweet, in my opinion. Um, let me turn this down. Again. It sounds probably really loud. Um, it, this is with this being the end of pretty much the Blair arc. I know he's in the next game, but obviously you don't follow him. And I think there is some story relevance to Blair in the next one, but. Yeah, I I don't know. I mean, and you can't even save it, man. All you can do is load. Um, I don't know. I, I you know, Wing Commander Thon has been going on for now, as, as of this recording, over a year, maybe even over a year and a month at, at the point of the release on YouTube. Um, but at the time of this recording on Twitch, it's been going on for over a year and a couple weeks now. Um, it's it's been a crazy ride, and I know I'm not at the end of it. I've got technically two more games to go i've got prophecy and then i'm probably going to play a little bit of privateer to the darkening i'll decide if i'm gonna i mean i don't know if i'm gonna complete that but yeah it's it was kind of crazy um okay well with all that being said thank you very much for joining me for wing commander 4 if you're watching this on youtube please consider giving this a like a comment and consider subscribing to milk dose gaming uh we play lots of retro games if you love wing commander and you're just catching this Go back. I have a whole Wing Commandathon uh, playlist on the YouTube channel. Check it out. We do tons of other stuff. Retro games. My kids play modern games, uh, kid games, and stuff like that. Uh, I play. I play some current stuff. Uh, right uh, at the time of this recording, I'm I'm playing through Horizon Forbidden West. I'm probably finishing up with that too. I'm finishing up with a lot of games recently. <laughs> so, but yeah. Um, uh, thank you everybody for being here. If you 
you know, tell me what you guys like about Wing Commander. Tell me why this is your favorite Wing Commander, Wing Commander 4. Tell me why it's not your favorite. Tell me why I'm wrong for still liking Wing Commander 3 when I played all the way through 4. I don't care. I love the conversation. All right. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Catch you later. Thank you.